Well, hi there, everybody, and good Friday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. It is Friday, and it was actually a shorter week for many of you, not for all of you, though, of course. Uh, but, uh, you know, looking forward to the weekend, these cooler temperatures. I am going to be loving this forecast for the next couple of days here. Uh, going a cool start to our day. A couple of fair weather clouds out there. We're going to average out partly to mostly sunny today. Mild conditions, a blend of 60s and 70s. Heading into tonight, late night, small chance of a couple of sprinkles out there during the overnight hours, especially after midnight, as a little bit of warm air infection comes into the southwestern and south central parts of the state. So we'll watch for a couple of uh, sprinkles close to that area of high pressure. Uh, it's going to be much chillier. 30s, upper 30s, lower 40s in some of those locations out there in eastern portions of Nebraska. And then heading into tomorrow, some of those clouds and sprinkles early, then a little more sunshine later, and a nice mild day out there again. A few more 70s out there, especially out towards the west where we'll be looking at mid and upper 70s. Uh, some places, especially to the east, may only see upper 60s for afternoon highs. Looking at your highs for today, a blend of uh, mid to upper 60s and lower 70s up there to the north. Mostly sunny skies are mainly sunny. To the west, maybe a couple more clouds out there, low to mid 70s for afternoon highs. And the south, we're also looking at low to mid 70s, maybe upper 60s around Hastings and Aurora, mostly sunny skies. And to the east, temperatures topping out in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. So again, a little bit of cool for this time of the year. Our average high is about 80 degrees in the Tri-Cities and for Lincoln. And a big change this week from what we had last week for area football games, your high school football games. Our game of the week between Amherst and Axtell. Class D1, mid-60s to start things off there around 7 p.m., 56 by the end. Also, the same kind of uh, weather in uh, Burwell's Neely Oakdale takes on the Longhorns up there in north-central Nebraska in Class D1. And in Class C1, David City taking on Milford Dorchester in eastern Nebraska, mid-60s to start the game off, upper 50s by the end of the game. So no problems for football. Maybe want those jackets out there if you're going to be attending one of those games. Same story for tomorrow if you're going to Lincoln for the uh, second game of the year between South Alabama. The Jaguars taking on the Huskers at 7 p.m. kickoff. You're tailgating mid to upper 60s, low 70s. By the time we kick things off, mid 60s, probably around that 66, 67, 68 range for uh, temperatures as we uh, kick things off. Getting to the uh, end of the game there around 10.30 or so, down into the mid 50s. So, uh, yeah, maybe want that jacket available uh, for parts of the game. Next couple of days, again, low 70s, uh, upper 60s, lower 70s for most of us. Then we see the 80s return for Monday and for much of next week, probably peaking on Tuesday where many of us could see 90 plus degree readings. So a little more heat building in. That wind's going to be a little bit stronger next week, especially on Tuesday. I only included one small chance of rain Tuesday night. Most of the week will be fairly dry. And then as we get towards the end of the week, maybe a little more of a cooling trend. Some models indicating another cold front coming in by next Thursday or Friday. And that may cool us back to near, if not even below, average conditions for this time of the year. So there you go. There's your forecast. A lot to look forward to this weekend. I am loving these fall conditions. We're going to see these next couple of days. I hope you do as well. If not, if you're still a fan of summer, we got a little summer for you as we get into next week. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.